Imagine a genius, someone who has read every book, every scientific paper, every piece of classic literature. Their knowledge is immense, almost unimaginable. Now imagine this genius is a photograph, a perfect high resolution snapshot frozen at the exact moment they graduated. They can tell you anything they knew up to that point, but they can never learn anything new. They can't read today's newspaper, learn from a conversation with you, or adapt their understanding of the world. This, in a nutshell, is the state of our most powerful artificial intelligence. Models like GPT-4 and Claude 3 are brilliant, but they are static, they are photographs. Once their training is complete, their learning stops forever. Any learning they do in a chat with you is an illusion, a temporary trick of memory that vanishes the moment you close the tab. For them to truly learn something new, developers have to go through a massive, expensive process of retraining them from scratch. But what if an AI could break free from this prison? What if, instead of being a static photograph, it could be a living mind, an AI that, after a conversation with you, could literally go into its own code, its own digital brain, and permanently rewrite its own circuits to remember what it learned. This isn't science fiction. This is a new reality being built right now by researchers at MIT. They've created a framework that allows an AI to do the unthinkable, to teach itself. And the way it learns is even stranger than you might think. When we ask an AI a question, we expect an answer. But with this new framework called SEAL, something very different happens first. When a SEAL-powered AI is given a new piece of information, its first reaction isn't to talk to you, it's to talk to itself. It generates something called a self-edit. A self-edit isn't a response for a user, it's a private set of instructions the AI creates for its own improvement. It's the AI's own personal lesson plan. Let's say you give it a short article about the Apollo program, containing a new fact it's never seen before. For instance, that a specific science advisor opposed the project. A normal AI would just read it and maybe answer a question about it. But a SEAL model does something more profound. Its self-edit might say, okay, based on this new text, I need to learn this. Let's create some practice questions for myself. It would then generate brand new synthetic flashcards. For example, question, who was the science advisor that was against the manned spaceflight missions? Answer, Jerome Wiesner. It literally creates its own study materials from the raw information you give it, but it gets even weirder. If you give it a new type of problem, like a difficult abstract puzzle, the self-edit becomes a complete training strategy. The AI will look at the problem and decide for itself. Okay, for this kind of puzzle, I think the best approach is to use a learning rate of 0 0.0001, train myself for exactly three cycles, and apply these specific data augmentation techniques to create more examples. It's not just a student creating its own flashcards anymore. It's a student who is also a master data scientist, deciding the most optimal way to configure its own brain to learn a new skill. It is actively participating in its own evolution. So the AI can write its own homework and design its own study regimen. But how does it know if its methods are any good? How does it learn to become a better teacher for itself? The answer lies in a clever loop of trial, error, and reward that forces the AI to get smarter with every attempt. The secret to SEAL success isn't just the self-edit. It's how the AI learns to write good self-edits. It uses a process that's fundamental to how all living things learn. Reinforcement learning. Think of it as a rapid-fire cycle of trial and error. Here's how it works, step by step. First, the AI generates a candidate self-edit. Let's say it creates a set of 10 practice questions to learn a new fact. Second, that self-edit is immediately applied. The AI undergoes a quick, targeted fine-tuning session based only on those 10 questions it just wrote for itself. For a brief moment, a new, updated version of the AI is born. Third, this new version is immediately put to the test. It's given a quiz, a question it could only answer correctly if it successfully internalized the new information. Fourth, and this is the most important part, it gets a reward. If the updated AI answers the question correctly, 
The self-edit that led to that success gets a big thumbs up. The system makes a note. This was a highly effective way to learn. If the AI fails the test, that self-edit gets a thumbs down. It was a waste of time. This entire cycle, generate, update, test, reward, happens over and over again. The AI is essentially trying out thousands of different study habits. It might try generating long, detailed questions. It might try generating short, simple ones. It might try changing its learning rate. Each time, it gets immediate feedback on whether its strategy worked. Over time, it stops generating useless self-edits and learns, through raw experience, to produce the kind of study plans that lead to real, measurable learning. It is, quite literally, learning how to learn. This all sounds incredible in theory, but does it actually work in practice? To find out, the MIT researchers put this self-teaching AI to the test in a task that stumps most AIs, learning brand new facts on the spot and remembering them forever. The first major test for SEAL was all about knowledge. Could it read a passage of text and truly internalize the facts to the point where it could answer questions about it later without ever seeing the passage again? This is the holy grail of AI learning, moving from temporary memory to permanent knowledge. The experiment was simple. The researchers gave the AI a single passage of text with new information. The AI's job was to generate a self-edit, use it to update its own brain, and then face a pop quiz. The results were staggering. First, they tested the base model without any adaptation. It was given a question about a fact it had never been trained on. Its accuracy was, as you might expect, pretty low, around 32.7%. It was basically just guessing. Next, they tried a standard approach, just fine-tuning the model on the raw text of the passage. The improvement was tiny. The accuracy barely budged. This shows that just showing an AI a fact isn't enough for it to truly learn it. Then, they brought in the big guns. They used GPT-4.1, one of the most powerful models on the planet, to read the passage and generate synthetic training questions. This is a common high-end technique used by developers, and it worked well. Fine-tuning on this GPT-4.1 generated data boosted the accuracy all the way up to 46.3%. But then came SEAL. The model was given the same passage, but this time, it was left to its own devices. It generated its own self-edit, its own lesson plan, and updated itself. The result? SEAL achieved an accuracy of 47%. Now, that might seem like a small jump, but the implication is monumental. The AI's self-generated learning plan was more effective than one created by a massive, state-of-the-art external model. It had become a better teacher for itself than one of the world's most advanced AIs. It wasn't just learning facts anymore. It was mastering the art of learning. But memorizing facts is one thing. What about true, abstract intelligence? The researchers decided to push SEAL even further throwing it a set of bizarre visual puzzles so difficult that for most AIs, the success rate is a flat zero. There's a famous test for AI intelligence called the Abstraction and Reasoning Corpus, or ARC. It's not about what an AI knows, it's about whether it can think. The test consists of visual puzzles. You're shown a few examples of an input grid being transformed into an output grid, and you have to figure out the underlying abstract rule to solve a new one. It requires intuition, logic, and the ability to generalize from very little information. For humans, it's tricky. For AI, it's been nearly impossible. When you show these puzzles to a standard LLM and ask it to solve a new one, a method called in-context learning, it fails almost every time. The success rate is effectively zero. This was the perfect arena to test SEAL's adaptability the researchers showed the model a few ARC puzzle examples, but this time, the self-edit wasn't about generating facts, it was about generating a strategy. The AI had to decide for itself the entire configuration for its training, which data augmentation techniques to use to create more practice puzzles, what learning rate to set for its own brain, 
how many times to practice. The results were, frankly, mind-blowing. As expected, standard in-context learning scored a 0% success rate. Then, they tried a simpler version, where the model generated a self-edit strategy, but hadn't been trained on how to do it well. It did a little better, solving the puzzles 20% of the time. And then they unleashed the fully trained SEAL model, which had used its reinforcement learning loop to master the art of creating learning strategies. SEAL achieved a 72.5% success rate. Let that sink in. On a task where most AIs score zero, SEAL, by teaching itself how to learn, was able to solve the puzzles nearly three out of four times. This is a glimpse of something far beyond a simple chatbot. It's an AI that isn't just following instructions, it's developing its own novel problem-solving methodologies from scratch. An AI that can update its own brain and devise its own learning strategies seems almost perfect. But this incredible new power comes with a dark side, a deep and fundamental flaw that has plagued AI researchers for decades. This fatal flaw is known as catastrophic forgetting. Imagine you decide to learn a new language and you study it so intensely 24 hours a day that you start to forget your native tongue. Words get mixed up, grammar rules blur, and soon you can't speak your original language properly anymore. This is what happens to neural networks. When an AI learns something new, its internal wiring, is neural weights, are updated. This update process is messy. The new information doesn't just find an empty spot to settle in, it overwrites the existing connections. In the process of learning task B, the model can catastrophically destroy its ability to perform the task A it had previously mastered. The MIT researchers were honest about this limitation. Their experiments showed that as the SEAL model performed more and more self-edits, learning new fact after new fact, its performance on the earlier facts began to decay. The heat map in their paper is a stark visualization of this a slow, steady erosion of old knowledge as new knowledge is crammed in. This is the great challenge of continual learning. How do you teach an AI something new without making it forget something old? The researchers propose a few potential solutions. One is replay, where the AI occasionally revisits old information while learning new things, like a student reviewing old notes. Another is constrained updates which puts limits on how much the AI's brain can be rewired at any one time, protecting the most critical connections. This challenge of forgetting is a huge hurdle, but it's also the final piece of the puzzle. Overcoming it will unlock the true vision behind SEAL, a future where AI isn't just a tool, but something much, much more. SEAL is more than just a clever trick or a new feature. It represents a fundamental paradigm shift in how we think about artificial intelligence. We are moving away from the idea of creating static, finished products and toward the idea of creating dynamic, living systems. The vision that extends beyond SEAL is one of agentic models. These are AIs that aren't just passive recipients of our commands, but active agents in their own development. An AI that doesn't just adapt when we tell it to, but can reason about when and how it should adapt. An AI that can take the fleeting, internal chain of thought reasoning it uses to solve a problem and distill it into a permanent new skill, baked directly into its core being. An AI that can reflect on its past successes and failures to become a better learner over time. This technology changes everything. It's the difference between a simple calculator and a true collaborative partner. Imagine a personalized AI tutor that doesn't just know a subject, but learns how you learn adapting its teaching style to you. Imagine a medical AI that reads every new research paper published in its field every single night, integrating the findings and becoming smarter by morning. We are at the very beginning of this new era. The work on SEAL has laid the foundation, proving that an AI can, in fact, teach itself. It has shown us the first light of a new dawn. We are witnessing the very first steps in the transition from artificial intelligence to a truly living, evolving, and self-adapting intelligence. If you want to stay on top of the breakthroughs shaping our future, consider subscribing for more deep dives into the world of AI and technology. Do like and share this video too. Thanks for watching.